guys, so today's video is going to be a collaboration video with Trisha60. She's one of my favourite YouTubers, I absolutely love her. Uh, she does such like funny videos. She does like beauty videos as well, but like, I don't know, when she does like date videos and stuff, oh my god, they're hilarious. I love watching her. She just really, really cheers me up. So I'll link her channel down below and I'll link it just at the side here. Um, and definitely, definitely go and check her out. She's absolutely amazing. Today we're going to be doing a kind of relationship video, kind of collaboration. Uh, my one is going to be about how to keep a relationship going, um, how to kind of re like do different things for one another, and how to kind of keep like not necessarily the romance in it, but just how to keep everything, everyone happy, and you know, just kind of like what you need to do uh, generally. Obviously, some relationships are meant to be, and you know, you can't carry on the relationship if it's awful. Trisha's video is going to be basically how to know when a relationship has ended, and how to kind of leave the relationship and stuff. Um, but yeah, mine's going to be how to keep a relationship going, so off we go. So the first thing I have to say is compromising different bits and bobs in the relationship. Um, I think if you totally always want to go shopping all the time and they always want to play football and never want to see you, that's not going to happen. Uh, you have to kind of compromise different people and you have to compromise different things. So you should pay interest into each other's kind of interests and different hobbies and I think that really, really helps. Um, also, you're kind of, just kind of compromising different things. Like if they want to go out for a meal um, but you wanted to, I don't know, spend that money on a DVD, you kind of have to compromise the different like kind of priorities if you get what I mean from you and the other person um so yeah you have to make sure that each of you is getting like a like kind of an equal balance and whatever with everything in your life another thing is giving space with one another I think at the start of a relationship you're kind of on top of each other all the time and that's absolutely fine you know you've fallen in love or you're falling in love and you you know you're doing loads of different bits and you're being all cute to each other and everything but once the relationship keeps going say like after six months after a year start giving each other a bit more space just start kind of you know leaving them to do their own things they want to go out with their mates let them go out with their mates you know this from a girl's perspective but um you know and also, they're going out with you, they're not going out with anyone else. So it's kind of the jealousy thing as well, I think, kicks in after a, after a while. I think at the start, jealousy doesn't really matter that much because I think, you know, you you realise that they're the only person that you're talking to. Um, but I think once you get into the relationship a little bit, if there's one person they're looking at certainly, like a certain way or whatever, it ends up getting a bit funny. And I think... I think it can get a bit nasty sometimes. So I think just realising that person is with you, they're not with anybody else, uh, really, really helps. And um, just realising that your relationship is, is fine how it is, but, you know, you, you can go a couple of days without seeing each other without dying. Another thing I think is really, really important is continuing to appreciate one another. I think as you get into a relationship, you just kind of just kind of expect each other to do stuff. You expect them to say I love you. You expect them to do bits and bobs. Um, you just, you expect to go to the cinema. You expect to go out for a meal. You expect to cuddle. You know, loads of different things. But I just think, just continue to appreciate each other and think about the fact that what happened if they didn't do that or what happened if they didn't make me smile or they didn't make me happy or you know I think it does end up it's one of the main things in my opinion that you do end up not appreciating one another and to me it just makes it rubbish because the other person just feels rubbish because you're not you know appreciating anything they're doing and if they do something nice and cute for you then you should appreciate it even if they do it every single week um so yeah definitely big big one I also think people can get into a bit of a routine and kind of just lack the kind of cuteness and romanticness of a relationship once you kind of get into a routine. You know, obviously from my point of view, I'm 18 years old. I don't live with, uh, you know, the person that I'm in a relationship with. I'm not in a relationship, but I don't live with that person. Um, obviously, if you do live with someone, don't get into a routine of, oh, wake up, oh, see you later, going to work, you know, go to work, come home, make dinner, go to bed. You know, make it a bit more exciting, like do different things. You know, maybe like um, involve some competitive competitiveness in the relationship. I read that down here on the next point as well. Just like, I think that really, really helps. Like, not necessarily going paintballing, but like go-karting and bits and bobs are really, really cool, like bowling and stuff like that. I think doing fun things, things that maybe you would do as a, like with a friend as well, not just relationshipy stuff, really, really helps. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I think continuing to do the things that you do at the start, so st as I said, stuff like cute messages, you know, saying nice things to each other, you know, telling someone when they look nice, stuff like that, I think that really helps. So as soon as you get into a routine, and the things just start going like every day just rolls into another and you're not really doing anything nice and I don't know, especially at a time say in my life when it's like exams for example or you know you've got a stressful time at work or whatever you just kind of just roll it down to like each day you know you give them a kiss and it doesn't really matter and things like that and I think it doesn't 
you need it to matter you need it to like carry on and like for it to actually like make a difference I think altogether the message that I'm trying to get across is that people you need to continue to appreciate the person because I think that's one massive thing the failure of relationships I also feel like especially because when you kind of start to get to know someone you know you think you know them very very well and as you start to get into a relationship you might realize that they're not the person that you thought they were at the very start uh, because if you've just kind of known them as soon as you start to get in a relationship it's kind of that difficult kind of situation where you didn't actually know them before so you don't actually know what they're like with other people um and i think in that way it makes it a bit more difficult you know because say if you turn out you're like oh my god i actually don't like this person it makes the situation a little bit harder um, but in that way, I just think you just need to continue to go with it. Continue, and everyone has bad times in their relationship. Every single person, every single couple has, you know, couples of months or weeks or whatever. Some people even have years where the relationship isn't as great. Um, but you have to pull through. You know, things aren't going to be perfect every single minute of the day. And I think people need to realise that definitely especially when you're younger like in my age like relationships you know i think you re you think everything has to be perfect all the time and it really really doesn't um obviously it's hard to come to terms with that everything's not going to be perfect all the time but you know for one month if you know you're both getting a bit stressy with each other and you're both arguing or you know whatever and then the next month you don't know things could be fine so especially not making those irrational decisions uh, but as trisha will say in her video when things come to an end you know some things just do come to an end and the relationship will start to just fizzle out um so in that way you know we'll go watch just a video for that part but in that way you know things do end sometimes and you just have to appreciate the good times so thank you very much for watching guys i really hope this kind of got a message across um quite a lot of people messaged mo both me and trisha about kind of um relationships and what to do and blah 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 as much as you know i was in a long-term relationship for two years and so i kind of you know got to know the person had a really really nice time and things just came to an end and that was absolutely fine um but you know a lot of young people now get into relationships and whatever you know ages like 15 16 17 18 and then like older as well obviously um but yeah we just wanted to have a little bit of a, little bit of a chit chat about relationships and we hope you have enjoyed these videos so i just wanted to quickly put in at the end uh just letting you all know my laptop is actually broken woohoo great um my mother dropped a smoothie on my laptop and um it's broke so i'm taking it to the apple shop in about five minutes time getting my car and going um, I'm going to see what they can do to it but in the meantime I'm currently editing videos on my phone and um, so it's not the most convenient of like processes so if my videos are a bit slacking and you know whatever trying to get them up then please forgive me but yeah thank you very much for watching guys please subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll leave Trisha's link to her video at the end of the video and also in the link at the bottom make sure you go and watch her video and also subscribe to her channel because she is fantastic so thank you very much for watching I'll speak to you all soon bye